All right, here we got the last of our mussels. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. We're gonna let that steam. And when those are done, I'm gonna bring them right over here and I'm gonna pull all the meat and separate because I'm gonna use the meat for a different dish. All right, so here I have all my mussels peeled. I'm gonna slice half an onion. This is then go in my, my next sauce for part of the next meal. Go ahead and peel it. And all I'm gonna do is slice it in half and slice it thin. All right, now that that's cut, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my sauce. All right, so here I have the white wine and the mussels and the juices of the mussels. They've just been sitting here on a low heat, just reducing. I'll go ahead and add my red onion. We're gonna cook that down until they're nice and soft. And then I'm gonna add mushrooms, mussels, some extra spices, All right, so we have our onion cooking in the juice. I'm gonna go ahead and add a can of, of already ready to go mushrooms. It's just regular canned mushroom. I looked at the fresh stuff and it did not look good this time. So I said, screw it. Let's go with the canned mush. I'll get the same flavor I'm looking for with this dish because the mussels are the main part of this dish. All right, now that that's been cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and add about two ounces of cream cheese and about four ounces of parm. So you're kind of making an alfredo, but not really. Because the way I'm gonna thicken this up is the quickest way you can without any problems. All right, so there's our parm. There's our cream cheese. I'm gonna grab my whisk. Go ahead and blend that together. Help break down that cream cheese. It's gonna make it nice and creamy looking. Just what you're looking for. Take about three to four minutes for it to break down. And that's fine. Because what we're gonna do is to thicken this up. I'm gonna make a slurry out of cornstarch and water. But since this is already liquidy, I'm just gonna add cornstarch to this and the heat and the liquid will be the slurry that I need. So you ain't have to worry about that. It'll thicken it up nice. The flavoring for the mussels is just gonna be outrageous. It's everything that you want in this dish. So give it a couple minutes to keep stirring, break down the cream cheese. The parm's starting to melt. I can see that here. I don't know if you can because of the steam, but this is exactly what I'm looking for. All right, you can see that the cream cheese is Blend it in. The matz is already melted down. It's starting to thicken. I want to thicken up a little quicker because I'm hungry and why not? So just a little bit cornstarch, not much. Probably quarter teaspoon, something like that. Throw it in there, give it a whisk. Look, it's already blended in. You can't taste it. Some people say they can, but I think they're just being snooty. They can't really taste that. So we're gonna blend it in, we're gonna thicken it up. I'm gonna go ahead and add my mussels. This is everything that we pulled earlier. So we're gonna blend that together, reheat those, get it nice and mixed in. Oh, and if you guys could smell this, your mouth would be salivating just like mine is right now. So let's let this heat up for about another five, seven minutes so everything's nice and hot. I already made my pasta. I'm gonna do a combination of thick spaghetti and linguine. It's already cooked off and ready to go, as you see it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate that. I'm gonna pour this right over the top. Throw a couple of quick handfuls of fresh parm and be good to go. Got some bread already in the oven and it's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, here you can see, you have, there's my spaghetti. Here's my mix. Place it right over the top. Oh, look at all that. The mushrooms, the onions, the mussels. Looks absolutely wonderful. All right, then go ahead and do the next one. Now, you don't have to top this off with cheese, but I'm going to. I'm telling you, folks, if you were here, you'd come back for seconds. 
Ah, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and top this off, and I'll show you a picture in a second. All right, here it is, topped off with the parm, and they'll give it a hint of color with a little bit of paprika. Now, that looks wonderful. Bon appetit, folks.